Hello everyone. Uh, just thought I'd go through a, a brief video about uh, using your night vision kit and the correct illumination. Now, I've um, purchased recently a, an infrared illuminator, uh, but I'll go on to that in a second. And I just thought I'd just show you on how I illuminate my night vision uh, and depending on what kind of usage that you're going to want to use your uh, night vision for will depend on what kind of range you're going to get. Now I went out and bought this, this is um, an Ultrafire um, WF610 and it comes with a standard just a normal LED lens. Now that's no problem that will just show out a white, white light with the night vision it's well it just goes on for ages and ages. However, the purpose of night vision is to not have that white light and so it's not uh, illuminating. So you've got two options that you can go down. Is one is you can buy a filter like this. And this oops would slot in the front, or you can actually put it in the rear, depends. I mean that will uh, wobble out if you're not too careful. Or alternatively, you can buy uh, this is an infrared LED. Now, these these two work almost in par with each other. There's no real fundamental difference that I've seen using my night vision kit. And um, the image is exactly the same. However, it does start to um, get a bit difficult from 30 meters plus. So what I did is I went out and uh, had a hunt around, and there's one name that kept on popping up. Uh, across eBay actually and I did a bit of research and um, this is a, an infrared illuminator from Carl Customs. Um, Carl's uh, sent this through to me obviously I purchased it so he so he'd better um, and this works really well. Um, the the difficulty that you have with uh, the this there's no kind of you can't focus the beam at all um, with this, uh, Carl's, Carl Customs T20, you can do, and I found it very good. You, you've got to you've got to tinker with it and, and you know focus the beam to how it suits the night vision, how you've got that set up. So you've got two lots of settings. You've got the uh, the focus of the beam here, and also um, the the settings within the camera there, and also your screen if you want to. So there's a lot of tinkering. However, you get it spot on, and you're Run. This for my uh, 30 meter range was brilliant. You know, I, I couldn't fault it at all. Uh, even further out, the thing is, I live in a residential area, so I can't really push it to the limits that I wanted to. But demonstrating on shining it across to a house that is 100 yards away, there was no problems at all. And I think even with um, the other thing of not only focusing the beam, but actually getting the beam more centrally focused to where the crosshairs were, because I was trying to do this in the wrong way. I would have probably got even better result. So, um, so there you go. So this is not uh, overly expensive. I think it was thirty pounds uh, that I paid on eBay. Um, in terms of an IR torch, thirty pounds. You can't go wrong. Uh, there are other models. Um, that you can get out there that I think are a lot more expensive, but Carl's um, Carl's version uh, does the trick. Uh, he's got no problems. The only one one downside, and it's no criti criticism to Carl at all, uh, is this this battery. This battery is a it's called an Altifier. It's a one one eight six five zero um, lithium ion battery you can recharge it that's not a problem but trying to get hold of that here in the UK I tried uh, my local Maplin here in Newbury I tried Curry's I tried Argos I, you can't get it for love normally so my recommendation if you're buying Carl Customs T20 IR Illuminator at the same time get on eBay and order some of these batteries and they'll probably uh, they arrive at the same time hopefully um, Carl's delivery was very quick on this um, <laughs> stupidly quick uh, and well, very well chuffed only, uh, the only downside is obviously here in the UK is if you've got a signed for package uh, and if you're not in they'll take it to the post office so you've got to kind of faff around with that but that's that's not a problem with car stuff um, but yeah um, by all means it's a, it's a good illuminator um, 
and hopefully I'm going to try and get a, a DVR built in to my night vision kit so it's um, so I can show you some actual footage without it trying to video a video which is rubbish so, so there you go uh, another video like share and subscribe and um, any comments